Hi, it's Paul again. Thanks for joining me for this training video. MyOCC is the hub of all OurChurch.com activity. You'll go to MyOCC to edit your website, to update your billing information, to set up online giving. We even have links to the latest OurChurch.com news and our monthly survey there. You're going to be going to MyOCC quite a bit, so let me show you around and give you a tour. To get to MyOCC, type myocc.ourchurch.com into your web browser, and then log in using your email address and your OurChurch.com password. You may or may not get a pop-up here when you log in. We'll pass on listening to Christian music for now. All right, so here's a look at the main page of my OCC. Up in the top corner, if you are ordering services, you can click to your shopping cart. There's also an option up here to look at notifications. These links here at the top are to sections of the OurChurch.com site, so we're going to just skip over those and look at these menu items, which take you around my OCC. We've got the home option that'll take you back to this main dashboard of my OCC. We've got my websites, which shows you a list of all of the websites that you have with OurChurch.com. The online giving menu option takes you to a page where you can set up online giving or change your settings. The services menu. This is where you can go to see a list of all of the services we're providing for you. You can also order new services or add premium add-ons to your services. Next, we've got domains. In this menu, you can look at a list of your domains. You can renew your domain names. You can register a new domain name, transfer a domain name to us, or search for a domain name. Our next menu option is for billing. You can see a list of all of your invoices, and you can also take a look at your payment methods or set up a new payment method here. Next, we've got the support menu. Under this, we have tickets, which will show you a list of the help desk tickets you've created. You can create a new ticket if you need help with an issue. You can look at OurChurch.com announcements, and you can also go to our knowledge base or our help pages where you can read about information to help you learn how to edit your website and watch video tutorials. Next, we've got the partnership program where you can sign up for our partnership program or check your stats and earnings. And then the last menu option on the right, it has the option to edit your account details like your email address, your address, things like that. You can change your payment method or set up a payment method. Contacts and sub-accounts. This is where you can set up additional people in your account so that, for example, if you've got one person who handles your billing and another person who edits your website, you can have different contacts set up. Next, we've got the option to change your password. Email history will show a list of all of the emails that we've sent to you. My testimonials. This is a place where you can post a testimonial to tell us what you like about our services or our team. It's private, so you can uh, just post it and send it on to us. My notifications has list of notifications, and then you can log out. All right, that's the menu. Now let's take a look at some of the things that are on this main MyOCC dashboard. On the left side, you've got your information and the option to update it if you need to. We've got contacts. In this case, I've only got one contact in my account, but I can click the button to add another contact. And then we've got some shortcuts for new services or to order new services, register a domain or log out. Then in the main section of the page, 
you'll see a list of all of the websites you have. And for each one, it'll have a link to that website. It'll have a button to the WPEZ admin, which is where you go to edit your site, a link to change your theme or the overall look of, your, of that website. And then if it's a free site, you'll have a link where you can upgrade to a paid hosting account. And if it's a already a paid hosting account, you'll have a login to cPanel. cPanel is another dashboard that you have that has things that you can use in the hosting account. So it's where you go to set up email accounts or email forwarders, things like that. Scrolling down here, got the list of active services. Got an option to register a new domain name down here. You can click to see recent support tickets or help desk tickets, information about the affiliate program, and then links to our monthly survey and recent news. All right, so there is a look at the My OCC dashboard. Hi, thanks for watching the tour of My OCC. I hope you found it helpful. Your action step for this lesson is very simple. All you have to do is click the link in the resources and go to My OCC, log in, and look around. When you're done, mark this lesson as complete and move on to the next lesson.